going to talk more about this with Gavin Went. He is from Mind Life Resources. Now, the world has been watching this case, and we now hear that Stern Hu has pleaded guilty. So what's the impact going to be on Rio Tinto? Well, let's, let's talk about this some more. So, Gavin, I mean, is this trial a warning to anybody operating in China here? Well, it's a surprising development uh, that he has obviously uh, you know, admitted guilt in this instance, but you have to wonder, I think as was suggested earlier in the interview, that uh, perhaps there's a plea bargain in the offing. Uh, we have to bear in mind that this is a, a far from transparent, far from independent court hearing. Uh, there was more than likely only going to be one outcome, and that was, you know, Stern, who and his associates were going to be found guilty. So given that, I think they're probably perhaps preface the outcome of that, uh, you know, I guess, gone for a guilty plea early on into the hope that there may be, uh, you know, I, I guess some sort of more lenient sentence uh, handed down. But certainly, you know, the, the Chinese actions can, I guess, be looked on, you know, with some degree of cynicism. The timing of these charges uh, nine months ago uh, coincided, of course, with uh, uh, Chinalco uh, obviously trying to expand their position on Rio Tinto's share register. That was unsuccessful. That was knocked back. Not long after that, we had uh, a breakdown in iron ore price talks where the Chinese lost a significant uh, amount of face. We're now seeing iron ore prices about 100 per cent above the level of, uh, at which the prices were, were, were being discussed, were being negotiated at the time. So the Chinese have lost a lot of face in the intervening period. So, you mm -hmm. know, I think part of this is, in, is to do with intimidation and, and I guess some degree of retribution. Right. I mean, as, as you said, these, these arrests came eight or nine months ago during iron ore price negotiations. This is where Chinese steel mills negotiate with the main, the main sellers of iron ore, BHP, Rio, Vale. Those negotiations for this coming year are happening right now. What's the latest on those? Well, it's going to be very difficult for uh, the Chinese again. I mean, VHP and Rio Tinto and Vale, the three biggest producers, are not only pushing for substantial price increases somewhere around the vicinity of 70 to 80 per cent, but they're also looking at moving away from an annual pricing uh, contract and moving more towards uh, much more flexible pricing. So maybe a three-month contract as uh, BHP has recently negotiated with the Japanese. So you know, there's a lot of pressure on uh, the Chinese this year. Uh, demand for iron ore and, uh, and coal, metallurgical coal, has gone through the roof. So we're looking at a price increase. It really is just a matter of, of how much. Gavin Went, Senior Resource Analyst at Mine Life Resources. Thanks so much for joining us.